What is up guys, thank you for joining me. This is Road Rogues Volume 6 on Degenerate Watch. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at a road rager who gets some instant justice. And we're also going to be taking a closer look at a shocking case of drink driving from here in Ireland from the end of last year but it was only up before the courts recently with the driver receiving a lengthy ban and jail time. Just before we hop into the video, don't forget if you're new here to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a new upload here on Degenerate Watch. And if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to drop us a like and let us know your thoughts about the drivers in this video down below in the comments. people in this clip were extremely lucky if you take a look at the back right side tail light it's after being smashed by the train and the amount of people in the car as well is lucky it wasn't a big tragedy and as for the guy parked at the fire hydrant that had his window smashed i have no sympathy for that because you should know that if you park in front of a fire hydrant and something like that happens it's your own i'm absolutely delighted for that fool that he got caught up with in the end I don't see the point of acting childish when you're out on the road. If somebody makes a mistake, they make a mistake, but it looked like that guy hadn't made a mistake, the other guy was just being impatient and wanted him to move to a different lane or something. But at the end of the day, no matter who's right or wrong, just act like an adult. There's no need to go on like that, tearing off into the distance, slapping mirrors and really just making an idiot of yourself. And by the looks of things too, the police in Russia don't play. It is satisfying seeing people like that getting brought to justice because acting like that has no place on the road because you're going to end up causing an accident and hurting somebody. Next up we have a drink driver here in Ireland and this case was particularly shocking. This footage was sent in by a member of the public to the Gardaí and on foot of this recording he was actually prosecuted but I'll get more into that later. And as you can clearly tell, this guy's had more than a couple of pints and seems to find it almost impossible to keep the car on his own side of the road. So after nearly losing control into the ditch on the opposite side of the road, a car comes around the corner. A couple of seconds either way and we could have had a head on collision there. This actually happened in the weeks leading up to Christmas when a lot of people would have been on the road going about their Christmas shopping and bits like that looking forward to the holiday season. And it only takes one idiot like this acting irresponsibly to bring about a tragedy. Unfortunately in this instance nobody was seriously injured or killed and the guy was apprehended by the Gardaí a short time later. It 
There's absolutely no place on our roads for people like that. Always report dangerous driving, guys. You never know, you might just be saving somebody's life. So let's take a little closer look at what happened here. This happened in the Enniskeen area of County Cork on December the 16th last. Earlier that morning, the suspect broke a glass panel on a rear door in the Super Value supermarket. And in search of alcohol, he then stole 10 cans of cider from a convenience shop on the new road in Bandon. Shortly after 10 a.m., he got into his car and drove in an erratic fashion on the Bandon to Enniskeen Road. Gardaí noted that the suspect crossed the road at least 20 times during his drive. He eventually pulled into a driveway where he's confronted by members of the public who had witnessed the dangerous driving and threatened to kill one man who had confronted him about his bizarre behaviour. The court heard that the suspect was shouting, roaring and threatening everyone when he was detained by members of the public on the outskirts of Enniskeen prior to being arrested by Gardaí at the scene. They said the suspect had no recollection of his car journey and all he could recall was getting the cider in the centre in Bandon. The court heard that the suspect was on bail at the time the offence occurred and had 53 previous convictions and was disqualified from driving at the time. And the whole subject of these guys being out on bail is something I'm going to do a video on in the future because there's a lot of these guys in Ireland and many cases of guys being out on bail and committing worse offences and in some cases ending up killing people. And there needs to be a radical reform of the bail system and maybe not give bail to these people that are repeat offenders. His barrister in court said that his client had been hooked on heroin and was suffering from an alcohol addiction. He said he was keen to enter treatment for his alcohol issues, but sure that's all well and good saying it after the fact. He also said he wanted to apologise to persons who came across him while he was driving erratically, but that's no good if you end up killing somebody or their family or their kids. He pleaded guilty to 14 counts on the indictment against him, including four charges of dangerous driving and one of endangerment. He was also charged with threatening to kill a man and producing a black baseball bat while making this threat. He pleaded guilty to burglary at the super value and causing criminal damage to the glass panel of the rear door. He also pled guilty to stealing 10 cans of alcohol from the centre in Bandon. He also admitted to causing criminal damage to a 2017 registered vehicle belonging to a ready mix company. And finally to top it all off he pled guilty to being over the drink driving limit having no tax, insurance or driving licence. Upon sentencing, Judge Sean O'Donovan said we are all lucky even more dreadful consequences didn't occur. He has shown an ongoing disregard for road traffic legislation and was disqualified at the time of the offence. He said he would have disqualified him for driving for life if he could. Factoring in his guilty plea, he sentenced the suspect to four years in jail, suspending the last year of the sentence and also disqualified him from driving for 20 years. I will say I'm delighted this guy was caught and brought to justice and got some jail time but it would be nice if he got a bit of a harsher sentence. He's just very, very lucky that nobody was killed here. So quickly, just before I sign off on this video, I'm hoping you'll join me on St. Patrick's Day for a special St. Patrick's Day live stream that we have planned, and also possibly a video that day as well. If you don't want to miss out on that one, make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on, or go follow us over on social media where we'll always keep you updated on what's happening with the channel. As always, links to everything are down below in the description, including ways you can help support the channel if you like what we do here. I'll be back again very soon with another video, I hope you'll join me then. And until then, I hope you all have a fantastic day. And if you can't wait until the next video, why not check out one of our previous Road Rogues episodes in the playlist on screen now? That's all for me. Until next time guys, stay safe, take care, peace.